Hey guys, Ellen Woodbridge here, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in Australia. And today I thought I would take the opportunity to do a walkthrough of the 2019 holiday catalogue. Now, um, I also have some projects to share with the walkthrough. Hello Miss Diane, thank you for joining in. Um, and I'm just going to go through it, give you my opinions. I may not own everything in it because I don't have time for that much crafting nor that much money. Um, but yeah, I'll give you my opinions and tell you how I would use some of the products. Now, for those of you that haven't seen, I did a couple of months ago do a haul video of my pre-order for the holiday catalog so that might be something that interests you and that way you can see my first initial very excited uh, reactions to me seeing the products I'm sorry I'm a bit late Deb I had an appointment this morning um, that goes for a couple of hours so I'm using the time that I have and I do understand it is a Bit late for you guys so what I am going to do I am going to flick myself around and get into going through the holiday catalog with you so I hope everyone's having a love have having or have had a lovely day it's a very warm day here I think we're in the high 20s summer temperatures at the start of spring which isn't necessarily a fun thing. And then it's meant to be cold all of next week. Hey, Leanne, thanks for joining. Okay. Hold on here. Right. I think we're good. Catalog in hand. Second screen up. I am going to... Uh, go and turn off my overhead light so we don't have any of these pesky shadows. Now, if you have your own copy of the catalog, please go and grab it and we can go through it together because it's hard to show the whole catalog and close ups and stuff like that. So, if you have your own copy, go and grab it and we can go through it. And there are so many hidden gems in here. Even my downline pointed out something to me the other, uh, when was it? Oh, you can see I am not straight. And you can see down my crutch, well not my crutch, but you can see down my desk. Hold on here a second, guys. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Get a bit lower and closer. I think that works much better. Hey Julie. Oh Diane, you're back. Hey Janine. Oh Jeannie, sorry. Um, you're back. You're funny, Diane. Okay. So this is the 2019 holiday catalogue that is now live. So if you are in Australia, you can... Oh, I've already got crap on the front of the catalogue. I'm not surprised. Uh, you can purchase these products from me in my online store. If you go back to my page, I have a shop now button. So this is our beautiful front page. I own nothing that's on this front page but I find it very very beautiful but it's just funny I own nothing off the front page so we have we always have a little story we have um, a little guide to our kits and where things are at and we have this awesome bundle index so for those of you that have bought from me before you know we bundle a lot of our products whether it be a stamp set and a punch a stamp set and dies we bundle them two products together and you save 10 percent so what they've done for this catalog and it is new they have all the bundles with a project example which is great i love getting inspiration from their project examples on the first couple of pages so these are all the bundles that you can 
one uh, that you can buy together and save that 10 percent so we have like everything from holiday thanksgiving halloween uh, we even have a bit of new years in here which is fantastic Hi Shannon, uh, nor do I. I own quite a bit from the inside. Yes, I own quite a bit from the inside as well. So yeah, hey Shelly, hey Linda, hey Karen. Oh no, Deborah, you should have told me. I'll send one to you. I can quite easily send one to you, Deborah. Send me a message and I'll organise that so you can have your own catalogue that you can hug and read and pet and do all those things that we do with our catalogues. So, yeah. So, the first suite that we see is the Toile Tidings. Now, this is very French provincial, very classic um christmas stamp set or christmas um sweet so we have stamps two stamp sets two sets of dies designer series paper wrapping paper two lots of ribbons and the one thing i own off this page is the glitter enamel dots because i love enamel dots we all need sprinkly things on our cards and glitter winning so we have both these uh bundled and i will show these to you on the next page so this is a bigger image of our paper and I'm so glad this is coming up well on screen um, oh thank you for sharing Deb so these are the two stamp sets that come in the bundle and or they come in the suite and they can be bundled with their matching framelits so we have uh, 12 Christmas and tidings all around which is really nice and these wreaths can actually be used beyond Christmas and be used for um, well in America they'd say Thanksgiving and stuff like that but they can be used for any types of projects I know um, a lot of people have wreaths on their front door all year round and this is certainly something you can decorate Cardinals are very uh, Christmas, not my kind of thing, but I do appreciate the Cardinals. I know, I'm really impressed, Deb. Okay, on page 10 and 11, we have the most adorable Christmas crowd. This is a small stamp set. Um, you only get six stamps, which is one image, uh, one, five, four sayings, and some snow. And this would be a really cute project to colour in or just stamp and leave as is. You can do lots with it. Now, the, this one made my list and came off my list. This is the So Many Stars. So you've got the stamp set and the dice. It came off my list because other things had to go on my list. And I didn't quite think I'd get the use out of it in the time that the catalogue ran but I do love it. Stars are you are all year round. You can use stars for birthdays. So it is a very versatile set. And um, I don't think it comes up well on screen. But on these photos, you get stitching detail on the stars as well as outside the star. So you get the stitching detail if you were using it as a frame. Please excuse the dogs barking outside. It isn't Louisa. But because it's such a beautiful day, I've come home and opened up all the windows. So... That's an amazing suite and you get 21, stamp, uh, 21 stamps in the set. So I love the font because I'm a font girl. I um, love the scripty and the more block font. It's perfect. So the wrapped in plaid suite. Now I know you Americans love their plaid. I'm okay with plaid but I'm not quite okay with the whole paper pad of plaid which this is so this suite you get the perfectly plaid stamp set the pine tree punch the wrapped in plaid six by six paper the ribbon you get jingle bells and they do jingle and gold mini pizza boxes 
So you get those. Now a closer look at the stamp set and the paper here. Now not all the papers are plaid, but there were other papers that made the cut in this catalogue over the A sides or B sides of these. So they're great for card for particularly card making because they are shrunk down in size. The perfectly plaid stamp set is a fantastic stamp set. You've got three tree images and you've got this secondary layer piece which goes with this one so you could stamp this in dark green then put a lighter green in for the leaves and you don't need to individually co color it you can use the stamp once again fantastic um fantastic sentiments they've knocked it out of the park now this peaceful bows is it knocked out the star set absolutely knocked it out i was originally going to just get the dies because i liked the bows now they don't the only thing that matches in the die set are the two pine cones to be honest i'm probably not going to use the pine cones i did like the inside sentiment may the spirit of peace gently fill your heart and home in this most wonderful time of year and i like the season's greetings what got me was the fact that these um boughs or pine images can be used on any style of project so they can be used on floral projects and same with the dies and i loved the frame yes that's that's how i did it and this set coordinates really well with the two suites that i bought out of the catalog so going on to page 16 and 17 we have itty bitty christmas now this coordinates with christmas layers dies now this christmas layers dies they don't necessarily they they don't go together but they do coordinate so you get lots of layers and you've got them here these are a bit like the wider stars that we've had in previous projects and you've got snowflakes and um your it's a, it's not holly it's mistletoe and your mistletoe so we've got that now we also very smallly put i think this needed more real estate in the catalog um is the delicata metallic inks now these are stunning absolutely stunning um i'm going to show you a bit of um, going a bit of a sneak peek here i have used the delicata ink just rubbed on this bow on this um delightfully mm, brightly oh I can't even remember the name we will get to it but I've used it here on this and I have also stamped the believe here um, on the crushed curry paper with the gold and this is the copper and we also have silver and of course I bought all three hello mr. Bobby um, now the itty bitty Christmas stamp sets very versatile cover you for everything for Christmas um and they're great because they're small so if you're uh, making cards with larger images or larger image clusters uh, these little ones will be perfect to add uh, the ringing the bells is a beautiful bell stamp set we do have a couple of images that you may have seen before but we've added um some details to go in the bell and this does come with a matching die and once again it is one of those uh, bundles that we put in uh, that we saw at the start of the catalog now for those of you wondering about the delicata ink it dries really quickly even on cold days that I've had recently uh, when I have been using it it dries quickly I have not had to heat set it at all unlike previous metallic inks that we have had so i've been extremely happy with the results i have got from these now this is the let it snow sweet gorgeous um snowman 
snowman suite very wintry but non-traditional colors so i'll get into the colors in that in a second so once again we've got two stamp sets in the bundle and we've got a punch for the snowman and a curvy keepsake box so this is a mini version of our old keepsake box and we have a almost like it's called a winter knit but it's a cable knit jumper embossing folder the paper we have real red glimmer paper which is great now this is just shown in this bundle and you can buy the sweets with one item number and this real red glimmer paper has been um, added into this suite from the annual catalogue you've got some curly ribbon the snowfall accents puff paint which i know is not available in some markets i'm not sure about the australian market um yes and we've got an embellishment kit which looks rather good so i'm going to pop over the page now the embellishment kit seems to have ribbon some felt pieces so you've got the mittens the beanie the scarf and it also has some additional papers oh you've got snowballs enamel shapes washi tape you, it comes in a beautiful box like all of ours normally do and yeah stunning so these are the felt gorgeous so these are a closer look at the papers and these have basic black blueberry bushel coastal cabana flirty flamingo real red shaded spruce and whisper white so a nice mix of non-traditional and traditional colors and then these are a closer look at the stamp set so the snowman and this is the snowman that goes with the punch and you've got the tiny keepsakes which go with the curvy keepsake box okay next page elfie elfie is as in hashtag elfie is adorable ah that's interesting because snowman aren't my jam but that's okay hey vic thanks for joining um so hashtag elfie is adorable i do know vicky owns elfie and she has done some really cute things coloring him in so i just think the fact you get four elves is just great and you get some really um cute um sentiments with that as well a gingerbread house i love gingerbread at christmas time a friend of ours makes the best spiced gingerbread i always ask for some every christmas so i don't need a lot but i always look forward to good gingerbread at christmas time and this has got the house and as you can see he's simply colored in nothing too crazy just with browns reds and greens um and you've got the christmas trees and the holly sprig as well we've also got these are just adorable and don't need much work because penguins are black and white so you just want to add a fun um scarf or bow tie or a santa hat um the thing i like about this and you probably are looking going what is that splodge it's to ground them when i put an image on a card um i'll bring back this card i like to ground them otherwise they're floating in space so i like to put a bit of ground under their feet and i've actually given you a stamp set for that and i love this handwritten font so this um is sort of an all occasions stamp set it um you've got new year's christmas you're so cool always by my side and nothing warms my heart quite like a good friend so that's quite a good all occasion set oh i don't know i'm not sure verna can everyone else hear me okay because i can tell you i'm not that far from the from my speaker yeah mate that's a good tip julie maybe refresh okay very good verna sorry it must be something your end okay night before christmas sweet 
I put in this sweet little number here and got everything in the suite because I was in love. Absolutely in love with this suite. So I got the Memories and More card pack, the cards and envelopes, which I will show you um, right now because I've made quite a bit with this suite. The 6x6 designer series paper, which I gushed over in my um, release video or my... Um, Sorry, guys, I got a phone call. <laughs> Sorry. Right, we're all back. Um, so I did gush about this paper with how traditional it is and how much I love it. The stamp set and dies and the candy stripe, or they call it diagonal stripe, I call it candy stripe. So I'm going to flick the page, show you the paper, and the stamp set so this is a card that I did using both the papers and the Santa and I made this last weekend and I just love it I had so much fun coloring it in and I did uh, use the Delicata Golden Glitz ink and to make it even more traditional I did do some sponging on that now to show you the note cards and the memories and more cards this is what I've done I've simply added now I've got a lot of these I made I've made 15 I think I've used each side of every card so I've kept a lot of them very very simple so these are some of the stickers in the set that I have added this is a sticker so let me grab the whole bundle here they are and they're really really easy I have added nothing but the card to this I love reminds me of my grandmother's Christmas tree nice one this was a santa that i stamped at the same time as the other one i just very simply uh colored it with i think the light the light crumb cake um blends and just gave it some definition and this sentiment is one of the stickers i've got this one i do rather like that reindeer I added just the ribbon and a mat to that. Oh my God, look at that Santa. He's so adorable. That's why I bought that stamp set for the Santa. Just use the ho, ho, ho. Have a holly jolly Christmas. And I used another one of the reindeer matted on one of just the pattern cards. So they are the 15 Memories and More cards and envelopes that I made. Now, I do still have cards left in the set because I'm pretty sure you get, uh, you get 20. So I still have five cards. And just to show you, hold on one second here. And these are the envelopes. They are really, really nice and do perfectly match the cards. So they do come with the envelopes. They're gummed, ready to go, and they are in very vanilla. So that's that. Love the paper as you can. Oh, actually, I have also made this card with the paper. I have already shared this. This was for the Christmas Stampathon um challenge and we we're doing non-traditional so i added in um calypso coral the what color i don't want to talk out of turn it is crush curry i use cherry cobbler and the tree stamp and some old olive and soft suede so i quite liked that card and this bright yellow just really jumped out at me so yep so cute now we have the moose now we don't have mooses in australia i'm hoping that's the plural but i do like the christmas trees they're very uh lovely as a tree thank you for serving us so well lovely as a tree and great sentiments i'm seeing a lot of really cute things with the moose 
and you can get the stamp set with the punch just we don't have moose in australia hi pamela thank you for your message sorry i haven't had a chance to uh, get back to you or pop your card in the post now these are just singular oh no they're not this one is uh i'm just trying to work out these ones go together so this is the shine bright and it goes with the stitched stitched brightly dies now these um are to create patterns on the back of your card so you've got the trees the stars and the leaves now the leaves sorry just let me get my head in here for a sec the leaves do very small piercing and create like a straight reef moose is singular and plural oh there you go i never knew that moose was singular and and plural there you go. Shows we really don't have them here in Australia. So, yeah, these go together as a bundle. Gorgeous set. And this is the pattern that you get from um, the wreath. Oh, no. Is it still a wreath if it's straight? I know someone will answer me in a sec. We have God's Peace, which has the lovely traditional candle setting and some beautiful um sentiments i'm rather partial to the peace and light i haven't bought it um but i do love the angel and the shepherd with his flock of sheep and i personally love the um the sentiments so i do have quite a few a garland thank you karen i knew there was a word i should have known that but that escaped me um and this will be perfect for a lot of people in my life who are religious but just this year i skipped over this one the brightly gleaming sweet once again i use this special number here and got everything now if you are buying one of the sweets they do bundle together the stamp set and the punch or dies and it automatically gives you 10% off those and then you pay for the rest. So gorgeous set, copper foil. That's all I have to say to you about this set, copper foil, stunning. So these are some of the cards that went out to my customers using this set. So I've used the hammered metal 3d embossing folder i bought in the bows which i showed you earlier and this is from the holly jolly christmas with just our stitch shape framelits but you can see just with a few additional things these cards are beautiful and i've just used a strip of the pattern paper it does also come with Merry Christmas printed ribbon, which I think is gorgeous. Copper stars and foil stars. So even though I didn't buy the star bundle, I'm getting stars in other ways. So I appeased. <laughs> Not a problem. Not a problem. Um, so I am still getting stars but i just didn't buy that big star set i just more got them as embellishments so this is gorgeous this is a closer look at the stamp set and the paper seriously i've bought a second pack of this paper because i made 40 odd of these cards because um if you're in my team these are your swaps for this month so I made it for my team, made them for my customers and I just made a few for my Christmas card stash while I was making it because while well, you're making that many cards, 10 more isn't really that many. So that is that sweet. I'm nearly, I've only got two cards left to show you because I've been a bit busy. Now, another forgotten not forgotten but overlooked product is the mercury glass designer acetate now this has like spots and like cracked so it's mercury 
printed or mercury finish on the acetate so it's totally see-through um, where there isn't the mercury finish and you are going to see whatever color you put behind it now I do have some ideas for this I just haven't had the time to execute them the memories of home stamp set gorgeous tree and these um, these ornaments match with the gleaming ornaments punch pack where you get two punches in the same pack which is great um so they are great once again love that handwriting font any handwriting font i'm a sucker for and down here they show you how they've used the tree to create a background which i think is a really really cool idea hey delinda okay now this cup of christmas stamp set is something really really cool and something we have never had before so these two stamp sets are reversible so you can have a left handle or a right handle on the same stamp so basically you have the image on both sides and it just depends which way you mount it on your block to which way the handle is going to stamp now these are called reversibles and this is the first time we've had them so um because summer is our christmas time we don't really have cups of eggnog and stuff like that so that's okay but i do think it's a really sweet set and i look forward to seeing what they do in with the reversibles in future catalogs so you can see here um some really sweet projects and that they've cut the middle they've used mm, is that inlaid they have inlaid because there must be it coordinates with the cup of cheer dies they're here so the cup of cheer dies and they've inlaid it into the pillow box which is really cool they're everything festive all your holiday sentiments so you've got valentine christmas um you've also got no tricks just treats for those of you that celebrate halloween now i will be making some halloween christmas cards this year um because i'm a part of a couple of um challenges and blog hops that require me to make um thanksgiving and holiday and halloween cards um it's just I'll find someone who loves Halloween to give them to. Uh, and my stepson is actually born on Halloween. So, yes. But I won't be giving it to him because that's not nice to get a Halloween card on your birthday. So we have basic patterns, decorative masks. We, that once again, need to be shown a bit bigger. But that's okay. They've shown it here with the embossing paste on these little cards and you get um two patterns polka dots and a woodland like a they're trees with no leaves so it could be woodland it could be scary christmas it could be many many things so yes great projects now these are the kits great kits in the catalog i have decline to get any this year because they are shown so well in the catalog so we have the joy of giving tag kit so you receive the stamp set it's an all-inclusive kit you receive the stamp set and everything probably except for some adhesive uh, to make the tags and you are making 30 tags 10 each of three designs so that is fantastic and that would like those tags would last me years and that is a gorgeous box that it comes in so that is really good and once again sentiments that you can use on any project we have the christmas countdown calendar which is fantastic it is also a stamp set i adore this background really really love this background and basically you've got some great background patterns in the stamp set it isn't all inclusive 
um but i think look there are a couple of them that are stamped on and they use this stamp set but i'm sure you've got if you didn't want to get the stamp set i'm sure you've got other ones that you can substitute with but they are designed to go together and i spy a lint ball if i got a lint ball every day in an advent calendar i'd be a happy girl they're yummy but i don't partake in that kind of thing very often anymore which is fine and it also tells you what you will need uh, to make this project right here in the catalog which is fantastic so just some ink pads the stamp set and some adhesive so nice and easy to put together the people on my downline that have made it have said the hardest thing in making it has been deciding um deciding where to put what that's been the hardest thing for them and we also have a christmas card suite and this is called it's actually a product medley and it's the most wonderful time of year so this is where you get stamp set paper dies stickers um ribbon i'm just reading here 48 sheets of six by six paper foil card front designs stickers tinsel trim adhesive back gold stars and the dies and the stamp set so it's a fantastic suite that you can make lots and lots with and um sort of follows the product medley that we had out um that we had out as a special product so hopefully we'll have a few more of these now the girl that doesn't do winter christmas things bought the feels like frost paper and i bought the shimmery crystal effects i know i know i know when you see the paper on the next page um oh no lint i uh, lint ball is lint is a chocolate company it's l-i-n-d-t um yeah they're amazing chocolate amazing chocolate but anyway now um i do like this sweet it is very wintry but as i've said many times i generally don't do wintry christmases but i bought this paper for totally different reasons than for christmas although some of them i may use for christmas now you've got ice glitter which they're ice crystals so it looks like snow you've got the stamp set and the beautiful frame dies you've got the paper seaside spray metallic ribbon the crystal effects which is great now this is a closer look um at the paper if you want a really close look i did show it in my unboxing and it has beautiful photo reel papers in six by six now you've also got the frosted foliage stamp set that goes with it and here is where you can use one of the places you can use and i'm going to get the name right the ice stamp and glitter we have the still scenes I want to call it a suite but it's a mini suite you this is a snow globe and I know snow globes are huge um, and we have the stamp the domes the sequins the dies and something to put in it although I know you can put so many of our images in this snow globe which is fantastic but they've given us a cute little house so these are gorgeous and you can get the stamp set and the dies as your bundle which is fantabulous uh, the free skate stamp set great winter stamp set once again we don't go skating and in fact our local ice skating rink has been closed down so there really is nowhere for me to go um skating sorry guys i have to plug in my laptop because it's telling me it's on low battery so just bear with me 
for 10 seconds here because I took my laptop to my appointment this morning. Yes, yeah, snow globes are beautiful, Julie. They really, really are. Now we have the snow front stamp set here. Beautifully versatile stamp set and goes with waterfront and a few other of those builder scenes that we have had over the years and it's gorgeous. Uh, my upline had to buy it because she makes beautiful um, layered cards. She's made gorgeous, gorgeous cards over the years using that style of stamp set. So the Come Together Suite, this is where we sort of steer away from Christmas and go into more of the fall theme. Fall Halloween. So we have the stamp set and the dies. And we have the paper. I happen to have bought this paper. Have a combo pack of ribbon and some beautiful ta tags and feathers elements, which is really pretty. So you can see some gorgeous projects here. And this is the paper because I have had some fall projects to do. Um, I bought this paper and I'll show you the cards that I've made and I have used the nature's the name is escaping me it's the dies that match rooted in nature and I've stamped with the embossing die with a uh, copper delicata ink so I've used the die like a stamp so I've done one this way and then I've also done a portrait one so I've used this paper and the sentiments, I've actually totally lost the sympathy um, sentiment, which I'm a bit annoyed with, but I'm hoping it does turn up. Uh, this is from, I can't find it, the Well Said stamp set. Both these sentiments are from the Well Said stamp set. So there's some really nice cards that I liked the colors even though it's not fall and it is spring here in Australia and I do plan on using some of the other patterns um, in the next couple of months so the stamp set that goes with this you've got your autumn leaf you've got your pumpkins you've got your wheat and you've got some really nice sayings and I do like this speckle um, the speckle stamp, always great for adding texture. Now the Harvest Hellos, you've got a punch. So this is great for you Americans who are currently in back to school where we're nearly three quarters of the way through our year. So you can have an apple for the teacher or you can create some pumpkins and you've got your jack-o'-lantern face there and some matching sentiments. Love the typewriter font. We need more typewriter font in our catalogues as far as I'm concerned. Birds of a Feather is absolutely adorable. We always have our cutesy stamp set in every catalogue and this is it. You've got your turkey, you've got your chick, you've got your rooster and you've got your duck and they are totally adorable with their matching sentiments. And you've also got a bundle of... Um, tiny punches so these punches I'll show you what size they are they are the size of my half inch punch so you get a set of four so you get a snow leaf a heart a bat and an oak leaf which is great and that coordinates with the two every season um, stamp set so you've got the images in there that you can cut out. The Beauty and Joy is an interesting stamp set. Not really my style, but a great builder stamp set where you can build a topiary or a plant. How do you handle having the catalogue out in sequence with your seasons? Yep, it frustrates us, but we deal with it because we have no choice. The, this is one of the best holiday catalogues we have had in a really, really long time. It has, for, oh, in my opinion, it has really hit my style um, and me being more traditional Christmas. Yet we have learnt to deal with it. And last year we did have a surfing Santa. 
which was summery for us, which was fantastic. Although I didn't buy it, I thought it was really good. And we do, in previous years, we've had a more summery stamp set in this catalogue for us in the Southern Hemisphere. Um, so, Monster Bash Suite. I don't do Halloween. I love these products. And this ornate frames die set is a stamp is a die set i totally overlooked so if you have a look here you create these ornate dies that actually have nothing to do with halloween nothing at all when my downline said i told my girls i have to get the ornate frame stars and i went what what are you talking about and she goes it goes with the monster bash suite and i went Oh, so I flicked open as I was talking to her on the phone and went, why did I not notice them? But that's okay. Like I went, oh, they're really nice projects, blah, 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 and kept flicking because I do like the projects and she also loves the coffin treat boxes. So she'll make those or she'll uh, assemble those for her grandkids and um, her neighbours. So she'll, she's really liking that. And another thing that's not very Halloween-y is the stylish floral embossing folder. And that coordinates with the frame, um, the masks that were earlier in the catalogue. These are the papers. I like the colours. Even though they're very traditional um, Halloween colours, they are more muted. They're not super bright in the tone. And this is a great stamp set. Really, really great. For me, it's not too serious. It's not too cutesy. It's right in between. So if I did do Halloween, this will be something I got. Now, I did buy this wonderfully wicked bundle. Now, why, Ellen? You just said you don't do Halloween. For those that are watching that are in my team or know my team name, we are the Wicked Woodies. Now, I didn't buy this stamp set in my pre-order. It wasn't until someone said to me, who's not in my team, mind you, said, Ellen, did you buy the wonderfully Wicked stuff? And I went, what? And she goes, your team name's Wicked Woodies. And I went, how did I miss that? How? But that has now been purchased, which is fantastic. So come on stage. I'm definitely going to be using these. And because I've got a couple of Halloween projects, I've got some great images to use as well. The Raven is very traditional, scary Halloween. And it's actually really beautifully drawn Raven. And the branch can be used for so many things and always a sucker for feathers I am. Yes, I know, I know, I know. Don't laugh at me, Julie. That's not kind. I know, Deborah, the, that's what I mean. I love this catalogue. Even though I don't do Halloween, the, the Halloween products I love. Um, and we've got black Stampin' Dimensionals, so we have a combo pack with the normal size dimensionals and mini dimensionals. So they've bought these out for our darker style projects. When you put um, dimensionals on, they blend in rather than white dimensionals going, Hello, I've used dimensionals. Because, of course, all our crafting products always talk to us. Um, this is a great tag set. So it's called Trio of Tags. And these are one stamp each, which has all three tags. So we've got a love theme, a Christmas theme, and a Halloween theme. And we've got the matching dies. Now, if Stampin' Up! was smart, they would bring out more stamp sets in other catalogues with these dice just putting it out there just putting it out there these are great for uh, gifts for um, trick-or-treat gifts all of those things they're just a perfectly great size and these are shown at 100% so they're not too huge which is great everyone with little boys needs this boo to you stamp set they absolutely need it. It is a great monster set. I mean, if you take out the zombie, these are just monsters. And they're so super cute. And this one reminds me of Sully from 
Monsters Inc. He just reminds me of Sully and it's interesting. The artist in the catalogue has drawn him with the Sully colours. The From My House to Yours is a gorgeous um, set for houses. So for welcoming neighbours. Um, houses are very universal. Even though I don't have houses like this in my neighbourhood. Um, they are beautiful and I do like house sets. It's just, I think I owned one a long time ago. So we're heading into New Year and we have the Sip Sip Hooray, which you've got your champagne flute, wine glass and cocktail and all the accessories that go with said drinks. And we have, um, we have the liquid stamp so you can personalize the color of your liquid uh, we also have the cheers to that which bundles with the cheers die once again product hiding right in the corner here is holiday rhinestone basic jewels now these coordinate with majority of the sets in the catalog so you've got cherry cobbler coastal cabana night of navy night of navy pumpkin pie and shaded spruce so that will go with a lot and i have bought those because once again i like sprinkly bits they just lift a card the seasonal wreath you've got a more traditional wreath than the one earlier in the catalog because this definitely has holly in it but then you've got all your bits that can um change the season of this wreath okay I've skipped a whole page here. We have our host sets. So if you host a party that goes over $250, or if you spend over $250, you can choose to spend your hostess money <coughs> on one of these gorgeous stamp sets. I really would. If I could buy this, I would have bought this but because it's a hostess set and it has no likelihood of carrying over I'm not grabbing it but it is a fantastic sentiment set okay so it's talking to us about why you want to host a party so you can get free things I love getting free money in the catalog and this is talking about joining and becoming a demonstrator because who doesn't want a discount off their stamping supplies I've been getting a discount for eight and a half years and it's amazing and this is our make a difference stamp set so it's called nature's beauty and in Australia four dollars twenty five off the sale of this stamp set goes towards um now i want to say mental health organizations um, yes i want to say mental health organizations i don't know why it is in my brain Oh yes, because it says it's here. Mental health organisations. I'm not reading the catalogue very well. And on the very back of the catalogue, um, all my customers.